likes of you to libel the good name of John Proctor. Old woman, a waste of time, and we've none to spare. Not at all. Patient love is the gentle cure. And all that is needed here. Mr. Putnam, I hear you've sent for Reverend to hell. How is it that you act without the congregation's vote? Act without? Oh, Mr. Duell. It's what we need. And by whose decision, may I ask? Oh, John, you see, Mr. Hilbert keeps us cause for bickering. Come out these five, my poor 
hellfire and damnation. And sermons demanding the deed to this house and candlesticks of gold. The deeds of my high office, that is all I ask. That's all, just his simple needs, John. Why, what will the errant flock do when the shepherd is so greedy? True, he preaches mighty little that a decent man can follow. Decent, did you hear that? Decent, what's the world come to when ignorant farmers rent of decency and dare to reproach their betters? Ignorant farmers and their betters put here by God for your kind to cheat. That may be the scheme of things as you and Paris see it. Not subjugate this town, never, never, while I breathe. We live in fault as equals here. You wear no halo, Mr. Putnam. Blasphemy, blasphemy. Stop, stop. Rebecca is right. We disgrace ourselves. Let us seek God's help in the singing of a psalm. Let us soul search and then psalm singing. I needs must go. I've things to do. Wait, John. I'll come along. Seems to 
devil's work, but only evidence, hard evidence, only that can prove it. Here in my book stands Lucifer stripped, and all his familiar spirits see its work. And with authority, if you buy and suck you buy, witches and wizards of night and day, evil demons and foolish nightmares that all sleep and torment the soul. This affliction fell on the child last night after the girls danced in the wood. Danced? You permit dancing? No, no, it was secret. Cannot be sure of that. Speak with Tituba. Goody Anne, would you fetch her? <laughs> Abigail Williams, you were there. You danced. What sort of dancing? Why, could dancing? That were more. You sure? Abby, that were not all. The girls naked, the cattle with the toes. That were. 
think on this. If I go to Salem and call Abby fraud, she'll strike back. Surely she will. Then it's Proctor or Ledger. The name will be the same. It's Proctor or Ledger. The name will be the same. Think on that. And then think of your sons. Besides, it's not so easy to prove that she is fraud. I have no hard evidence. What she told me, she told me in a room alone. In a room alone. It was not as you told me. Enough, enough, I say. I'll plead my honesty no more. But look you sometimes for the goodness in me and charge me not. I tell you, judge me not.
go to Salem and I forbid you. Do you mock me? I'll whip you if you go again. Pray, pray, please me not. I am sick, Mr. Proctor, please. I am weary, I must sleep. Mary, is it true there be 14 women jailed? No, ma'am, it's 39 now. And child, what ails you? Goody Osborne will hang. What? Judge Danforth will permit this. He will. He sentenced her. But not Sarah Good. For Sarah Good confessed that she compacted with the devil and that she bound herself to torment Christians till God's throne Then Woody Osborne stumbles in That poor old woman I think to myself How can I ever, ever accuse her Such a sorry soul But the stubborn thing she won't confess. She said they're denying, denying. And then I feel a this, a climbing, a climbing. The skin on my skull begins to breathe. And I check, I can't breathe. And then I hear a voice screaming, screaming, screaming. A 
Abigail Williams, duly sworn, doth warrant as follows. I was sitting at supper with Judge Danforth and Reverend Pattis, when suddenly I felt a great stab under my heart. Uncle Paris, coming to help me, finds a needle stuck two inches deep into my belly. Asked how I came to be so stabbed, there came a whisper in my ear that this were done by Elizabeth Proctor with the devilish help of a puppet. What? What's this? Goody Proctor, do you keep puppets? I know, not since I was a child. Well then, our business here is done. But I spy a puppet. What? What is it? The very puppet. Your wife's puppet. The needle in the belly. Hear the belly of her puppet. I do not understand what signifies this child's puppet and this needle. This needle signifies a murder. Your murder of Abigail Williams. The girl herself is murder. She should be ripped out of this world. Ripped out of this world. You heard that. You heard that. Everyone, you heard that. Ripped out of this world. The court must hear this. I'll give you someone to tell the court. Chanchiba. The truth now. How came this puppet here into my house? I, I think it is mine. Yes, yes, I did, sir. And did you stick this needle in? I did. My mommy saw me do it. She sat next to me. You can ask. the puppet you stuck the needle in and Abby saw you do it you speak your own mind now not that of another There it is. Your mind is surely settled now. I've not the power to decide this now. Oh, the you are under charge and must come to me. Trust to the judgment of the court. For Judge Danforth is a stern but just man. If only she be innocent, the court will send her home. What I will not let you take her. Daughter! 
she be innocent, if she be innocent, they shall not take her. They shall not.
Elizabeth lies in jail, accused by you. The village lies under a curse, your curse. That is why I'm in here to tell you you must free them. You can and you must. Free them? But I am free them from their own corruption. I am possessed by the spirit. I open them to God. The soul saved in him. The prince was saved. I danced for the devil. Let them suffer for it.
By the will of God and under the laws of the state, this court is now in session. <laughs> of Giles Corey. I do hereby swear that Thomas Putnam did prompt his daughter Ruth to cry out witch on Rebecca Nurse and my wife Martha Corey, and that he did this not through any godly motive, but only to acquire the land to which these women hold title. Sworn and attested, A serious accusation is it true? It is not, Your Honor, it's falsehood. What proof do you submit for this? Why, the proof is in the thing itself. If my wife hang, she forfeit land. Yes, that is the law. Go on. But is it not then clear to you who here in Salem has the coin to buy it up? None but Putnam, Thomas Putnam. What proof, man? Where's the proof? It was his no roof that cried out on my wife. Prompted by him, this made him a fair gift of a land, he said. Three honest townsmen heard him say it. They will swear it. And what are their names? I'll give you no names. You send them off to jail to rot, as you have the others. What? What's that you say? You criticize this court. His fish, his tongue stirs in the An honest man gladly. Unless, of course, that man himself is part of this devil's conspiracy. You're right, sir. Arrest this man in contempt of court. Yes, in contempt of court. Thomas Putnam, this is your doing. You've made this a court of hell that weighs at your back and back.
doing my duty, my sacred duty, to mark out the devil's crew. And this is my reward. Memory. 
Why did you dismiss her? She, she displeased me and my husband. How displeased you? She was lovingly lazy. I beg you. I signed away the life of Rebecca Nurse this morning, and my hand quivers yet. I cannot shut my eyes again. There is private vengeance. In these trials, but she spoke nothing of lechery. This man has lied. I believe him. I believe him. This girl has always struck me false. She has. <laughs> Mr. Dan, would they pretend again? Oh, you. 
His company, no, Martha Corey, no, Mary Eastie, no, or any others, no. I speak my own sins, but I cannot judge another. It is enough that he shall confess himself. Let him silent come and stop. Oh, 
Don't you think, don't you think? 